My name is Gabriel Ojo. I'm a graduate of the Department of Geology, Ocean State University. And I would like to say I'm honored to be here on Kebs TV Nigeria to tell you guys how do you become an outstanding student. The first thing I wanted to know is that you get serious from the start. University is not a joke. Life itself is not a joke. So when you're in the university, don't think you have come to play or to enjoy the freedom. Freedom is a call to responsibility. So right from your unreal level, get it serious. Know that I have come here to what? To make it. I have not come here to waste my time. I have not come here to have little things. I have come here for the world, for the big things. So you get serious right from your world, from your unreal level. Make up your mind to be what? To be diligent, all true. So when you have that, then you are heading on the way to, to, to becoming an outstanding student. The second point I would like to speak on is have a goal for yourself. A goal streamlines you. When you have your goal, you know what you are what, what you are aiming for. When you know what you want, you'll be willing to take actions that will give you what, what you want. If you don't want to have the best result, then why should you read? But if you want to have good results, you want to have excellence, then you'll be willing to what, to pay the price for what, for excellence. So a goal is going to what, streamline you. Another thing about having a goal is you will not be carried away by little accomplishment. So even when you have, you know, good results, but it does, you, you haven't gotten to where you wanted to be actually, you will not be what, distracted by them. You will not be carried away by little achievements when you have a, what, a bigger goal ahead of you. So university, of course, the best goal you can have for yourself is to have what, the best results, to have what, excellent things, the, the, the best results. So let that be your what, let that be your goal right from the start. And the next thing I would like to talk about is that you should not give up. Now, on the price, on, on the path to becoming an outstanding student, there are times where you will have to pay sacrifices. You have to deny the sleep. You have to give time to study. All these things are what they are track records for you. Do not give up on them. Do not give up on becoming what an outstanding student. Do not give up when you see people playing around and then you look at yourself, how you are always, you know, giving your best giving your best effort. Do not, do not let those things make you what, give up. Even when you look at your, um, your results sometimes and your result is, doesn't really encourage you, do not what, give up. Because the only defeat in life itself is when we, what, when we give up. When you're facing a course and you keep working hard, keep putting your best and you are sure to what, you are sure to improve. When you practice, you are going to what, make improvements. Practice, they say, make improvements. So do not give up, not on anything. Then the next point I'm going to talk about is time management. Everybody has 24 hours every day. Now, what we do with our time defines who we have. What you do with your time eventually rubs up on you. Therefore, you realize that the, the, the best of students, those who are standing, they always give more of their time towards to studying. There is no shortcut and nobody is in magician. So if you want to be an outstanding student, then you must be ready to give bulk of your time towards to studying. So time management is very important and one of the ways of managing your time is by making schedules. You always make plans for your work, for your um, activities every day. You always create a time for you to work, to study and let it be a reasonable time to work, to study. When it's time for you to fix your study, when it's time for you to read your books, when it's time for you to catch up on your courses, on your, on your, on your, on your subjects, you what? You give the required time. While I was um, an undergraduate, I, people around me, they know me for studying, that I don't joke with my work, with my studying, because I know what I wanted, I know where I am going, so I needed to what, to be ready to what, to pay the price, and then to be ready to deny the fun and the excitement, and then to what, to get serious, to face my studies, so I never joke with what, with my time. So time management is very, very important. It's a common principle in life, even beyond academics. Once you know how to manage your time, you will be more, you'll be more effective. So you want to be able to what? To manage your time. Time management is very important. After time management, the next thing you need to know about is to um, know what works for you. Know what works for you. Everybody is not the same. Some people, they like to read in the morning. Some, some people like to read in the afternoon, some like to read in the night. Some like to read particularly early in the morning. Some people are used to jotting when they read. That's my style of reading. Whenever I read, I always jot. I cannot read without without jotting because that is just who I am. Then you also discover that some people, they like to read in the library. 
they like to read in a quiet environment. Some people like to read in a loud environment. I'm a quiet environment person. Some people like to read um, in the morning. Some people like to read in the afternoon. Some like to read over the night. So when you know your strengths, you know what works for you, then you can what? That can help you on your path towards becoming an outstanding student. So know that, okay, this is where I function best. I understand better or I simulate better when I jot than when I read. I simulate better when I read in the morning. I read longer when I read at night. When I discipline myself and I say I'm not going to sleep because I want to work, I want to read. I read, I understand and I assimilate better when I come back from school and then I start facing my books. So knowing what works for you is going to what? be an added advantage. The next thing I'm going to talk about is dealing with distractions. Oh, because university is a place whereby you, you see several things. The freedom is there, so you can join, do whatever you want to do. So because of that, there are always distractions for everywhere. Distractions can come in the form of friends, in the form of you know outdoor activities, um, having fun. Those things can be distraction. I am not against activities that are going to add value to you, that are going to make you better, that are going to make you learn. Those activities are good, but they shouldn't take the place of your primary assignment, which is to face your studies. So distractions, things that will keep you away from achieving your goals, that will take focus away from you. Take those things as distraction and let them rule off your back because you have to pay a price now. So let them rule off your back and face your path to becoming an outstanding student. So let distractions be, be far from you. And the next thing I'm going to talk about is being personal with God. Because I don't know of any other being who gives, who, who, who gives understanding as God will. Because when you are personal, when you are close to God, you get blessings from Him. When your eyes is on God, you are bound to receive favor from, from Him. God gives you understanding, He gives you insight, He gives you depth like no other person will have. So when you have those things, you understand things better and then you can always relate your challenges to God. So getting personal with God is going to be another advantage for you to become an outstanding student. Also, when you are committed to responsibilities, responsibilities in your local church, for example, it makes you to be more responsible. When you are committed to things that makes you responsible, you also want to be responsible in terms of your academics, in terms of your I hope the words that I have spoken will be useful to you and your studies. I would also like to say I'm honored to be on Gaps TV and I will end by saying if you like the video that you've just watched, I will encourage you to subscribe to Gaps TV and turn on the notification. See you at the top.